Hello. We're going to talk today about bit shifting. Let me explain, explain this little tool that I've created to help demonstrate it. We have uh, eight zeros in a line here. These represent the bits in a binary number. Eight bits equals one byte. And over here we have the decimal equivalent of our binary number here. I've uh, got a symbol up here, which is the same symbol we use in our sketch when we want to shift bits to the left, which we'll demonstrate here in just a minute. We also have the ability here to add one to whatever number we have here. So for example, if I add one, the one appears here, its decimal value is one. Shifting bits involves just moving everything over a notch. You can see it here in animation all the zeros move over the notch, or one has moved to this next position, and another zero has been added. I can put a one in there, I can shift them again, I can put a one in there, all I'm doing is adding one, I can shift them again, finally I can put them in here, and we have a decimal 15, or binary 111. Let's clear it and we'll look at this again. I'll add one. I'll shift. This time I won't add one, but I'll shift again. This time I will add one, and I'll shift again. And then I'll shift again. And each time I shift, everything moves over one notch. I can add one here, and so now we have the binary number 0010101 which is equal to decimal 41. That's bit shifting. Let's talk about how we're going to use this in our Morse code project. What we want to do is designate that each dit will be represented by the number 1 and each da will be represented by the number 0. So if a da comes in, we could say that equals as that 0 equals a da. This would be the letter T. However, if we get two DAWs, that would be the letter M, we still have the value zero here. If we go to the letter O, which is three DAWs, we have a problem. It's always equal to zero. In, in fact, if we asked Arduino to decode all of this, he wouldn't simply say da da da. He would want to say da 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 da. So we have a solution to this problem. And that is when we start to receive a character, we're going to put a 1 in here, and it will be what we call a start bit. That's this green one. When we look at our our Morse code and try to decode Morse code from our binary number, we will ignore all of these leading zeros. They're not DAWs. And we'll ignore this first one. It's our start bit, so it's not a DIT. So let's take a look now at how we would send the letter T. We've got our start bit. In comes a DAW. There it is. We've got a zero. This gives us the letter T. But if it's not a T, maybe another dot comes in. We'll shift again. Now we have all these zeros that we can ignore. We have a start bit that we can ignore. And we have two DAWs, which is the letter M. And one more step here, we'll go with to the letter O. We would shift, ignore these, ignore the start bit. Three O's is da, da, da. That's the letter O. Let's try something that has dits and dos in it. Let's look at the letter R. First, we put up a start bit. When the first dit comes in, we shift everything and add one. One is a dit. When the da comes in, we shift everything, but we don't add, because zero is a da. When the last dit comes in, we shift everything and we add one. So again, we ignore these zeros, we ignore the start bit, and then we have 101, or we have dit da dit, the letter R. That's 
bit shifting and we've created a bit stream. So let's see if you can figure one out. I'll start with a uh, start bit. In comes a DAW, that's right. Next, a DIT. Next, a DAW. Finally, another DIT. So we have, ignore these, ignore the start bit. We have DAW, DIT, DAW, DIT. The letter C. That's bit shifting. I'm Barnacle Bud, and I'm hoping you enjoy Nibbles and Bits.